everyone, Shirley Pridham on here, and welcome back. Happy New Year, everybody. And we are officially starting off 2023 with good vibes. Today, we're going to be doing a let's play, kind of, not really, but we're going to be doing a tarot card reading to see what my 2023 is going to look like. I that I actually believe in tarot card readings, but I actually thought it'd be kind of fun to go to a website and see what it says and what my year is going to look like. So, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So let's get started. So LT's world famous universal six card spread. So let's do it. Let's figure out. Ooh, that was fancy. Okay, so what cards am I vibing with? Let's just to make it more fun, let's do one with my eyes closed, I guess. You guys will see the screen, but I'm actually going to close my eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I click the same cards twice. There we go. We did it. Card one is how you feel about yourself. And I got the magician. You feel a sense of purpose and the willpower to get things done. Self-improvement is the key word here. Any new enterprise in love or career show great potential. You feel that you have the ability to think on your feet. The appearance of the magician is an excellent omen of success. Time to believe in yourself and go for it. That's kind of a cute one. I really like that. I don't know why this card symbolizes a magician. He's got like an infinity sign there and he's holding a stick over like an altar. So, and I'm not, it looks like a Photoshop celebrity or like a bodybuilder. So I don't know what the magician part is coming from. Next one, what you want most right now. The high priestess. The cards suggest that you, what you want most at this time for a secret to be revealed. A secret held deep within yourself or another. Go within and listen to the still small voice of your heart and instincts. The appearance of the high priestess tells you that the power of divine feminine, feminine is within you. Trust it. I don't really know what that means. If someone wants to let me know what that's supposed to like mean, because I, I guess I don't really totally get that one. Um, I get the secret part, so maybe there's something this year that's going to be revealed to me that I haven't really thought about, maybe? But I don't really understand the rest of it, where it's like my feminine power will come in. That, that one doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Temperance. You are afraid that this period of harmony in your relationship or life is in general is not going to last oh my gosh if that's not freaking me i don't know what is perhaps you fear that a rival is going to cause conflict or already has threatening to upset the peace and tranquility you are enjoying any quarrels will be short-lived so just try and enjoy the moment for what it is if life is not joyful in the moment you may fear that it will never be take heart and be patient and life will soon have a sense of normalcy again that is really beautiful. So that's a really beautiful thing to hear that maybe that's one of my biggest fears for the next year or in, you know, the year to come. And I really need to be able to stop and enjoy the moment. So, and that's also on my vision board is too, because I get so caught up with my phone anymore that I need to put down my phone and really be present and in the moment and enjoy and not always worry about what's, what's the worst that can happen. Oh, I like that picture. What's she doing? I don't know. Your self-confidence and courageous spirit is unstoppable at the moment. Be patient and compassionate, self-disciplined and strong. You will reap great rewards for your courage. That's cute. Okay. Card number six. This is the final card. And this looks really interesting. It looks kind of like an Adam and Eve thing. The lovers. Love is coming into your life. Even if you really can't see where from it this time, on your own, a new lover will soon enter your life. If you're in an unhappy relationship, you have to make a choice. You have a choice to make. Go with your heart, take the risk. Greater happiness is ahead of you. I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, I kind of don't know that I totally resonate with a lot of these, but they're kind of fun to see how accurate they are. 
like with the consciousness and the bravery and the fears, you know, and maybe how I feel about myself and all that kind of stuff. So that was kind of fun. It was kind of a short one. But what are your guys' resolutions for the year? What are you guys planning on doing for the new year? Are you having any changes? Are you thinking of any cool goals that you really want to try out for? And hey, let me know down below in the comments if you guys try out a tarot card reading, what's your year look like? And I'll see you guys next time and stay awesome. Bye guys. Won't you stop your